going into the soap room so it's not y'all it's not I cleaned up for y'all for real but it's still not a hundred percent wonderful but so we're gonna do the same thing and pan around so you guys could see what is going on here and I'll close this door little bit yeah it's a weird little wonky half door this little this uh, space used to be a payment center so that's why you get the window right here with the little piece but it's all good make use of the space as we as we can so let's start from this side here so here is where I keep um, this is where I'll put my laptop or my tablet and I'll pull up my recipes or I will document um, some things that are note some things so I and I just wanted something really just insp inspiring so I have some of my soaps that I just kind of put in little shadow boxes if you wanted something some decor these shadow boxes you can order on Amazon super super cheap um, and then this area here and we've been working on relabeling so we started pulling stuff off but this is where I keep my smaller bottles of fragrance oils so you guys have probably seen this before but and then we just my daughter was helping me clear up and she put stuff in the wrong spot this is where I keep all the smaller fragrance oils and then this is where I keep some of my like cookie cutter molds and then this is where yeah it's not it's not clean y'all it's just I love drawers and I love containers because I can give the illusion that I'm organized but not so much um so we got us a box in from Brambleberry so then um, this section here, let's see if I can walk through. So this section here is where I, um, yeah, don't mind that because I have two more of the pictures on the opposite wall and I was gonna do a little DIY video. So that's why that's under there. Um, but um, so this is where I would sit down and I keep all of my piping um, supplies and stuff stuff so if I want to sit down and pipe and things or um, I actually have like this little mat for soap molding and things like that so that's why I have little paint brushes and some of these are dirty so that's why they're at the they're at the house to be washed and then this is where I keep my tips these little this little thing came from Michael's super 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 duper handy and then some bowls for mixing special colors. And then this is where I store, specifically I store um, my roses. So I store them in this. And I actually got the idea from, and I'm gonna say her, uh, her name, the, her name is Yvonne as well. And she had her roses inside of these little clear drawer things and I just thought that was brilliant. This wall here is not 100% complete but this is my color wall and this is my fun wall. So at the top I'm going to actually do like a little cricket wording that says warm, cool, and sparkle. So hopefully that defines what that is <laughs> so I separated these are just little cheap Ikea magnet boards and then um, I broke down my colors and put them 
inside of smaller containers because I just wanted to visually I was not using my colors and I wanted to visually be able to see my color options so I kind of coordinated them this way because I'm weird like that and then I have um, some of my neutral colors and whites and blacks and grays there and then all of these are glitters and then this is bio glitters and then that is titanium dioxide and then down at the lower area is all of my sprinkles, which I I love these sprinkles. They're just so, so pretty. Um, and then below that is where I have a ton of storage going all the way around this bad boy. And so I keep any leftover, um, larger leftover um, um, micas and such and I put them in this bo these boxes and then I just label containers um, and then I just stuck magnets to the top um, you don't have to do all of this like legit you could just take for example my favorite mica which I get from crafters choice um, my rose gold mica that I love to put on everything um, I just put a magnet straight on that bad boy because it kind of flies everywhere. So re, um, re, you know, dispensing it was just not realistic. But, you know, I just wanted it to be nice and clean and the same and crisp. And then some of my colors I actually get from TKB and they come in these, what well, you can purchase them um, several ways, but... So this is also, I'll show you this one because it's cleaner. Another great way of storing your colors, if you just don't have a whole wall to dedicate to colors, you could always get these super cheap dollar shoe bins and then you can add well, your colors in there if you wanted to. And a filing system. Now you could also even, and of course this is going from um, warm to cool, but you could always, even if you wanted to, you could create tabs if it's that serious. But just seeing the colors there is, I mean, you know, that's a great option. You could do uh, warm colors in one bin and cool colors in another bin and then keep it stored up somewhere. That's a, a way that you could kind of keep your colors in check, um, especially if you keep, you get this thing back in. Especially if you keep, you know, your colors in envelopes anyway, or um, little Ziplocs anyway, or purchase them from TKB and they're already like that. So that's that. Um, On to this wall here above. I really like to have like little bits of pretty. I'm hoping this will... I really like to have bits of pretty whenever I'm in a, in my space and this is my personal preference but it just makes me feel like working and it makes me feel like I I'm excited about my day and I don't I look up at it I look up at it and it says hello today make today amazing and I and I feel it so it's my little corny way of keeping myself inspired and I'm pumped up you know um um, these two, you can see the top, it's dirty. It's really not that, it's, I actually cleaned it off, but it's like this weird texture on the top, so it looks dirty. Um, but this is where I keep my melt and pours clear, and then my, um, coconut milk. Um, these are awesome. I got these from Target. I got the baskets from Target, and then these little three cubicles, I actually, cubes things, I actually got from Ikea. But um, these are great. They're dry erase boards, but um, I actually am weird about my handwriting. So I'm going to print, you know, Cricut labels eventually on them to say what they are, hopefully. Um, but this is where I keep the crock pot my mother gave me a long time ago when I first started. Not a long time ago. When I first started soaping and I thought I was going to hot process and, well, I decided cold process. And then this is where I keep extra um, supplies for melt and pour. 
And then these are, this is where I keep Mountain Port embed stuff for making like my quartz and some loofahs. And then hot plate and microwave. And then this is how I, um, what I, a machine I use for making my dry body oils. Hell yeah, yeah. And then this is for sample making. And then um, this is where I keep all of my supplies in containers. Um, so I have all my dries and then I have some butters. Um, but most like some a couple of these containers I clean them out before I wash them out before I put new butters in like that kokum so currently it's not it's empty until I wash it um, just because you know eventually oils get go bad and I don't want it to incorporate in the good fresh oil so um, and then this is where I keep my herbs and this is where I keep my larger fragrance oil bottles. More fragrance oil. Y'all, I got a lot. And then this is where I keep um, extra supplies for the cutter and, um, oh shoot, I can't open this. But um, just extra supplies and stuff, actual crap. <laughs> um, this is my master batch container. And so what I'll do with this is I master batch in it and then I re I I um re bucket it into smaller buckets. Um and I'll show you the buckets I use, but I just kind of put the buckets down there with my scale and then I weigh out um 40 or 80 or Okay. And so yeah, I'll um keep that empty. I don't keep my oils in there because they can separate and settle and it's really once it's mixed up once I try to get it into smaller containers so it's more manageable in order to ensure that every small batch is amazing and the same and consistent. Um, this is where I keep my butters like I told you guys I don't know if you can see yeah there's butters and stuff in there um, but this is that little little DIY situation I was going to show you guys to do because I need to put two more right there. Um, and then there, let's see, y'all I got oil all over my hands. Um, so this is where I keep extra, I told y'all I am not organized, I'm just a messy organizer, if that makes sense. Um, <laughs> and then this is where I keep my cutters and mats for cutting up stuff and then my my cutters my single cutter and then my multi cutter brambleberry and this one is I don't remember this one's a bud cutter this one is I don't think bud does any of those anymore though um workshop heritage yeah so that's that um it's almost time for me to order more lye but that's where I keep my lye and then up high, of course, because you have children and I want to keep it as far away from people accessing as possible. Um, candle supplies, extra supplies for packaging, candles. These are the buckets I use to repackage and master my master batched oils. Um, this is my containers I use and I actually have a ton more, but um, they're at home. Um, to be washed and I will tell you why in a minute um, this is where I keep my molds my larger molds um, more containers for clean up uh, for mixing up stuff this is where I keep all of my smaller molds this is not like the best because you can kind of forget what you have but um, clear is best but it keeps them all together and sometimes I'll get in there and I'll look and I'll see, oh my goodness, I have this mold. And I get inspired <laughs> to make something. Um, so this is where whenever I am shredding um, or cleaning up my soap, I put them inside these containers and um, color stories that just are pretty or make sense to me. And then I'll use those in 
other soaps. Usually it's when I am making um, some sort of donation soap or, um, you know, for the homeless and stuff like that. My husband has a nonprofit. That's why he has an office in here. So we use it for that. Um, and then um, these are some extra supplies that, like my, le my extra um, herbs and stuff that couldn't fit in the jars. Um, these are where I keep like my lids and stuff um, for my uh, jars and stuff. Oh, I didn't show you. And then this is where I keep, which I'm not going to show you. It's <laughs> where I keep my, I store all my soaps and stuff. Um, of course, you know, I've got to have my inspirational stuff. So let me go around. And so you could see this pegboard. I love it. It's from Ikea. Um, those jars at the top are if I'm infusing some sort of oil or something for uh, a soap or something. So I keep them there with the herbs and stuff in them so there's nothing going on right now. Um, I always have my uh, vision boards in here as well so I stay focused. This is not a functioning sink yet. So we purchased the sink and we're going to make it mobile. Um, so I could take it to events or it can, uh, because there is, of course, the other room is my office. So there is no way to um, add a, like a, um, you know, like the draining system and all that stuff. So it will be a mobile um, sink. And so at the bottom, there'll be two containers, one that will have a water reservoir, one for a waste reservoir. There'll be a hot water system. There'll be a whole situation. So me and my husband, that's our DIY. We just haven't gotten to it. So right now, all of my dirty dishes, y'all, end up for the day, end up in boxes and in this. So this is my dirty dish container and I love it. It's plastic so I can wash it um, because too, I, I scrape out as much as I can for my dirty dishes and then I let it sit overnight so it will turn to soap unless it is like sugar scrubs and stuff like that and I can wash immediately. So it does not, um, you know, it's not raw oil going into your draining system, but I can wash this out so it stays clean and then I bring my dishes back in this guy. Um, and then this is where I keep um, larger containers of oils and then master batch oils. Um, and then this guy right here is, it actually, this has been with me for a while. I'm sure you guys have probably already seen this in previous videos. The difference is there was actual, I got this thing from Target, but this little metal, it's not real metal. It's like this weird plastic stuff over it or something. I don't know, but so when you sit fragrance, <laughs> fragrance oils directly on it, it starts to create like these ugly little ring things. Um, so I just took some good old fashioned paper, wallpaper, removable wallpaper, and I can wipe it down and it's pretty and it just spruced it up better. So that's that. But this is um, one of those little microwave carts. And so I keep the scale and mixing bowls. And this is where I keep, you know, stuff like that. And that's a nice little mess. I told y'all. And I, it actually was organized, but I just been throwing stuff in there when I bring it in. And then this is where I keep, you know, all the stuff that I use for soap making. Um, so I keep it in this thing so that we can kind of remove it when we need the extra counter space um, for um, this is, you know, when I'm piping, whatever. Got this thing from the restaurant store, restaurant, something online. Um, so yes, oh, and then the bottoms. I am so sorry, but basically the bottoms store all of my um, supplies. So this is where, as you guys can see, this is where, can't even open it. I keep my supplies. Um, Supplies, can't open it right now. Supplies.
supplies. Another supplies. So this is where I keep all my supplies. And then over here is where I keep all my packaging. And it looks like you guys are going dark on me. Can't see. But yeah. So all along there is where I keep all my packaging supplies. And yes. So that is the office. I hope you guys enjoyed and I appreciate you guys sticking with me if you lasted this long and I'm thinking I'm probably going to cut this into several videos because yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.